Hey, it's Mark Spencer from Ripple Training. We're looking at Title Nations. I'm in the Titles browser. I have Ripple Title Nations selected, and I'm looking specifically at the Title Color Range theme that includes these two templates. Now, these two templates are uh, identical to previous templates that we reviewed, specifically Block Right ACR comes from this collection of title blocks, Block Right, and Animated Color Range with this upward arrow comes from this set of text reveal. But they each have a special property that allows you uh, not just to color text, because you can color text a word or a couple of words in a text line uh, in any of these templates, but it allows you to animate the color. Uh, here I have block ACR on the timeline. If I play it, we can see how it animates on. I've made a few changes to the style in the title inspector. Automatically, the second word animates a different color, uh, in this case, blue, I've changed it from the default red. However, it's not animating the correct word at the correct time, and that's the focus of this tutorial. To do so, we focus on these parameters down here in the title inspector. First of all, I'm animating a character at a time. You can animate a word at a time or a full line, but I'm doing a character at a time, and if you look carefully, as this animates on, we have each letter animating on there. Uh, the color start and color in index parameters determine which word changes color. By default, it's set to the second word. That's why the index is one for the start and two for the end. In this case, I want the word balance to change color. One, two, three, the fourth word. For the fourth word, I would set the color end index to four and the color start index to three. Now I just have the word balance set changes color. If I play it, there we go. And actually, I like the timing pretty well, but let's look at how to change the timing. This comes in and it changes right there, right at about 53.17 to about 53.24. Now, let's say I really wanted to have that happen uh, a little earlier in time. I wanted to start back here. So that is what the color start and color end offset sliders are for. And rather than dragging them around, you want to drag in the value fields instead of the sliders. But also the easiest way to use these, and admittedly, this is the most complicated part of all of these templates. But the easiest way to do this is place the playhead where you want the animation to start, the color animation right here, and then adjust the color start offset parameter by dragging in the value field until you see that color start to come on. So I'm dragging back to the left, and it's just starting to come on right about there. So that's when it starts to animate on. Currently, it'll still end animating a little bit later. So now I want to go to where I want it to stop. And it's a little slow for my taste. So really, I want it to start here at about 52.29, and I'd like it to end already by about right here at 5306. So therefore, I adjust the color end offset parameter. I'll just drag on that until it's fully colored. Now if I play that back, it starts earlier and ends earlier than it did originally. So those are the key points to changing which word or letters animate and when they animate with the title color range theme templates in Title Nations.